Fumio Kishida has been formally approved as prime minister by Japan's parliament. That's after he was elected leader of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party last week. Kishida was once Japan's foreign minister and has an image as a low-key consensus builder. He's expected to name a cabinet heavy with allies of former conservative prime minister Shinzo Abe. Relaunching Japan's COVID-hit economy will probably be the new government's biggest challenge. Earlier, I spoke to our Tokyo correspondent, Michael Penn, who told us more. To be honest, uh, he hasn't revealed any particular uh, strategy uh, in terms of trying to uh, trying, you know, trying to deal with the, the pandemic. And in fact, he kind of comes at a, a good time because, uh, you know, the numbers of new cases at this time are actually about the lowest they've been in a year. Uh, Japan just came through a very uh, heavy duty fifth wave uh, driven by the Delta variant. But that's now basically more or less played out. Uh, the one thing that we we do know he plans to do, which is related to uh, the pandemic, is to have a large uh, new budget. So there may be uh, some sort of uh, you know injection of government money into the economy uh, in order to uh, revive things on that front. And Michael, what can we expect from Kishida and from this new government when it comes to foreign policy? Well, uh, in the past, Kishida himself has described himself as a dove. But uh, we're not really expecting that he's going to have a soft or moderate foreign policy because, uh, you know, as you mentioned, his cabinet is going to be very heavily uh, populated by uh, supporters of Shinzo Abe and sort of a, you know, a, honestly, sort of a Japanese right wing cabinet. Uh, and this is in large part because uh, in order to become prime minister, uh, Kishida had to lean very heavily on the, the far right of his party in order to get there, in particular, uh, former Prime Minister Abe. So we're expecting actually a pretty tough uh, you know, so, and somewhat militant uh, uh, cabinet coming in, although the, the front man, the, the, the prime minister himself, is not known as a hawk. And Kishida will be facing new elections at the end of October. Do we expect him to remain in office? Uh, well, because of the, the, the sort of uh, long-term weakness of the opposition parties and sort of a reluctance on the part of many Japanese to, to believe that they're actually capable of, of forming and running a, a competent government, uh, that usually means that the ruling party, the Liberal Democratic Party, uh, will remain in power. Uh, there is the question, however, of whether or not the fact that uh, you know, Kishida was chosen as prime minister and he was not the popular choice among the public. And the fact that this cabinet, you know, he sort of doesn't look like he's his own man in his own government. Uh, it may be that he doesn't do well. The ruling party may lose some seats, but uh, they are expected to maintain their majority. Uh, there's a very strong chance of that.